Hey YouTube, this is Jonathan and welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul. And we're gonna look into a beer today. Cloud 100% Malt Classic by Lotte. You know, Lotte is a dominating this little sector called Jamsil in Seoul. They have their own tower, they have their own amusement park, duty free shops and malls. It's a big huge company, one of the top leading companies in South Korea. And Cloud is their special beer. Cloud was first released on the year 2014 April and it's manufactured in Chungbuk, Chungju. It's a region in South Korea famously known for apple, red apple, Korean apple. So first let's look at the, uh, the outside appearance, the level and the color. The color is basically just three simple colors, I, I mean four. Texas black, red, gold, and white. Uh, because it's emphasized with entirely with gold color, it makes you feel that this is some sort of a luxurious beer. Don't you feel it? Gold. The main cloud, uh, it's actually, you have to break it into two parts. K. Cloud's K stands for Korea's K. And cloud, as it suggests, the word cloud, like a cloud in the sky, uh, they're trying to refer this cloud in the sky to the foam of the beer. So, foam of the beer, K as in Korea, so Korean beer, cloud. Does that make sense? Uh, well, yes. Uh, so, I said that it's manufactured in Chungbuk, Chungju. Uh, it uses the one of the common methods that were used for brewery, the original gravity, OG or otherwise it's called the original extracts. Uh, they measures solid content in the wort for the alcoholic fermentation processes. They would kind of seize the future, oh, how much percent of alcohol will be produced after the fermentation, which is so cool. Now, let's uh, open it up and let's taste this. Oh, well, personally, it reminds me, as soon as I smell the first, uh, it's personally, I felt a little bit of characteristic from the Pilsner's. Pilsner beer had a similar taste and a similar smell like this. The alcohol is 5% and let's see the color. Here's cloud for you. So it's... So this is basically a standard translucent gold with white head. Smells sweet malt, biscuits, crackers. Let's taste this. There's a strong malt taste there. It's slightly bitter from the hop, but not too much of a scent from the hop. Um, it's nice. So the name suggests that it's K stands for Korean and cloud, it rhymes with actual word cloud in the sky, that's how they named it after. So they are trying to represent that, fur it as the foam from the beer. But when we talk about foam in the beer, it actually, we actually talk about proteins, how much proteins are in the beer. Once you pour the beer inside a cup, you see that accumulated foam at the top of the liquid and you swirl it around and you can tell how long it takes for that foam to disappear that's gonna tell you how much protein contents are inside of a beer do not get confused with what this lotte cloud is trying to refer to they are just basically trying to give you that picture of the ordinary beer of a, a gold collar beer with a standard white head that's the kind of idea that they want to give you not because they have highly content, high content of protein with the uh, heavy foams, no. So this is Korean, I don't know, well, it, I don't know. Basically this is uh, what everybody, every country 
method of uh, advertising products in media by selecting top artists or celebrities in each country and trying to represent it in, in televisions, short advertisement clips, or radio and etc. or posters in public. Korea, uh, if you want to succeed as a, a business owner with your own product, you need to have a ambassador representing your product. The cloud had a few representative or ambassadors. Uh, first generation was Chun ji and second was Seren from the K-pop girl group AOA, and third generation is Kim Hye-soo. So two top actress and one of the popular K-pop girl group, Seren, they had a slogan. They have a lot of money. <laughs> no problem with that. I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's the beer overall, it tastes tastes good, clean on its in its own characteristics. But when it was launched on year 2014 April, uh, at the time when Chun Ji Hyun was the ambassador for Cloud, they had a little bit of issue. They made an advertisement. They had one little issue. The this phrase that they put on on the posters and media, but they did not put water while manufacturing this beer. First issue is that no beer is manufactured without water. Second, the normal gravity method would not use water during the fermentation. Instead, they would use water before the fermentation to exactly pull out 5% of the alcohol, which cloud is 5% alcohol, ABB. It's, it's quite the opposite of high gravity brewery method high gravity brewery method would use water during the fermentation to bring out that, that alcohol dosages. So that phrase, uh, manufactured without water, that whole, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, technically, yeah, sure, because in, during the process, there is a specific process that you did not, uh, there was no involve of water in manufacturing this beer, but there's no such beer made without water. So that was an issue. But they survived. This beer still exists till today and it's one of the top beers that are selling in South Korea and tastes uh, nice, tastes really good too. Overall score that I would give to this beer would be 3.6 out of 5. The reason behind is that um, overall well balanced. Um, it's a standard beer I guess. It's, one of the uh, pale lagers, I guess, uh, pale lager that I had in a few, uh, in a while. So tastes good, premium too. So, so Cloud by Lotte from South Korea. I guess uh, they they learned their lesson from their first mistake of stating that they did not use water during the manufacturing of this process. Tastes really good. I like the label. It's cold and stylish, and overall, it's a good, enjoyable beer. If you have a chance to grab one of these in your local areas. Please go ahead and tell me your review on this here in your own words down below the comments. Thank you very much for watching my video again and please subscribe and like my video. Your subscription will definitely help me to make more interesting uh, introductory videos of Korean beers. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching and this was Jonathan and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. So Cloud, it's one of the beers that he had a pop, one of the uh, hot top artists and actresses as investor. I wish I could have a kind of beer with one of those people. That's, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be really good. Yeah, I think my, my, my wife is watching me. But, huh? Hey, it's a dream, right? Anybody can dream. Anyways, well, I'm happy with my wife. <laughs> well, beer, loud. Maybe I could be the next ambassador holding this beer. My picture of my face and holding this beer and posters just around everywhere in the city. Shut up! That's embarrassing. <laughs> Bye.